So on Monday, I posted a video about DNA, and then I saw this video from Nova, which shows you how to extract your own DNA, and I'm not sure how I've made it this far through my life without doing that. So I figured I would try it and show you guys how to do it, and I'll link the Nova video, because it gives the instructions a little better, and you can do it yourself, and give credit where credit is due, because they were awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how to extract your own DNA. So this is kind of like a bonus bite-sized video, which makes it a smaller bite, or a fun, a fun size. This makes it a fun-sized video. Yeah. So I already had all the things that I needed to make this video in my house. This is just some salt water and some dish detergent and a little bit of isopropyl alcohol with some food coloring in it. Step one is to swish with salt water. So now my cheek cells are floating around in the salt water. And my mouth is so salty. Step two is to take a little bit of dish detergent, a drop of dish detergent, and to stir into the salt water. The detergent is breaking down the phospholipid bilayer, which is the cell membrane. And finally, we create a layer of the isopropyl alcohol on top of the salt water. Cool. So alcohol and water have different densities, which is why you can float one on top of the other. So DNA is soluble in water, but not in alcohol. So where the two layers meet, the DNA will precipitate out of the saltwater solution and will form little strands. Oh, you can see it. See all those little floaty strands? Look at my DNA moving. It's all stuck to the toothpick. Look at that. How awesome is that? That, my friends, is my DNA. So cool. That is a DNA strand of mine. So neat, so, so neat. Go forth, do science.